guys, this is Andrea from Onyx International. We are here at CES 2020, one more year. And uh, this time we're introducing one uh, product. It's going to be a new release, uh, I hope, early 2020, in a few months. Uh, now is a demo. We, are, we have our first, not first, this is the second actually, Ying phone, which uh, still doesn't have any specific name. But I'm going to talk you, uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit W the, the information we have so far and uh, but of course the information is not complete first of all we are using a 5.8 screen uh, with some glass uh, on front and on the back we are using a plastic uh, back case with a fingerprint recognition uh, mode and a, and a camera which currently is not working but it will be working uh, below we can see a Type-C connector, a speaker and a mic and we can see side buttons for uh, going to sleep mode, blocking the device, volume and here of course the, the SIM card uh, slot which can be double SIM card or also can be a SIM card plus a TF card. We have these two possibilities. Uh, so now we can see that it's using, we are using an Android 9.0 uh, OS. Uh, as you can see, the, the, us uh, the user interface is quite similar to the, our products, our books devices, e-readers and e-ink tablets. And so we, we are following a little bit the same, the same uh, look. One, of, one thing that we have introduced in this e-ink phone is the four different refresh modes so depending on what we want to do like if we want to read some some ebook here we can use the normal mode but instead if we want to browse the internet uh, we can select the X mode so it's gonna browse uh, much faster with a higher refresh rate as I was explaining we have four refresh modes going from normal mode speed mode a2 mode and X mode the last three modes are higher frequency refresh modes, which of course are going to give a, a better performance when sc uh, scrolling up and down while browsing on the internet or while watching a video or even when using a third party application such as, let's say, Amazon Kindle, The Guardian, etc. So uh, basically, uh, these refresh modes from from the second to the fourth, the fourth would be the one who consumes the most battery and at the same time who produces more ghosting. But at the same time, is giving the best performance when scrolling up and down. So basically we wouldn't even feel the, the, the screen refresh. So depending on what the user needs, it will use one or the other. And of course it will affect directly the battery consumption and the, the reading performance because also the, the letters definition, it would be uh, less, there will be less definition. Uh, also we can control the, the light, the, bright, the brightness from here or the contrast as we want. We can see several features like uh, enabling the Wi-Fi, uh, the, the airplane mode, etc, etc, hotspot, etc. What else do we have? Of course now already this is using a SIM card uh, with a 3G. Uh, we can, for example, if we want, we can go to the internet and, and browse information from there. And you, we can have also several applications downloaded. As we can see here, we have uh, The Guardian, Washington Post, Excel. Uh, we have Amazon Kindle, for instance, where you can see different books you're reading or the ones you want to buy. We have a Google Play that you can download from our App Store. So pretty much the apps that you can download from our App Store are going to be quite optimized for, for this Ying phone. Maybe all the apps which have been uh, developed for TFT screen uh, smartphones, maybe in the very beginning they are not fully optimized, but uh, we, we can do it. And uh, oh, maybe we could uh, now show you how this device is calling to, to another phone. So I have here, Jason. So I have here my associate in the US market, Jason, and uh, who, um, 
will help me to make the call. Calling from a US number to another US number. Maybe you can show. So as you can see, it's a fully functional phone. You can call. Uh, you, you can call other phone numbers, uh, and besides, uh, you, can, you have different other features. Of course, uh, this phone, as I said, is a demo. It is not finished. There is a lot of information that uh, I know that you would like to know, but unfortunately, and we apologize in advance, we cannot display now because we are uh, testing uh, three different uh, solutions for the hardware. So uh, there is, it's not nothing clear yet. So we, we hope that early, very uh, sorry, very soon we can we can show you more, more information. Um, finally, um, I'm gonna say that we don't have, of course, a release uh, a release retail price yet, neither a release date. But I, I can say that we, that we are displaying this product at CES. So we are very close to that moment. And uh, the reason why we decided to go for an uh, e-ink phone is because we understand that there is a lot of users, of course everyone is using a phone nowadays, and there is a lot of users that are using the phone for many hours a day for working or studying or basically because they interact a lot of the phone. So we understand that it's important that in the market there is uh, a phone using this technology which allows someone to call when they need to call but at the same time if you want to read information on the phone like a book or like browsing the internet etc you can do it uh, without harming your eyes uh, like a TFT screen would do so those are the reasons it is good for students and uh, for example uh, the, the camera that will be as soon as we release the, the device this camera is good because even if you're, you're not going to make uh, great pictures from a, from a landscape, but it's good for, for making pictures of uh, QR codes, scanning, and uh, also for some students, maybe they need to take pictures uh, of the documents that they are, they are writing down. So this is also an important uh, feature for this phone. So basically that would be a perfect uh, alternative phone for uh, anyone who uses a lot and who doesn't want to have eye strain by the end of the day. Thank you.